Now on KPIX 5 and streaming on CBSN Bay Area, Google is facing legal action from the co-founder of another Bay Area tech giant. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Michelle Griego. And Ellen Keyes, Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak has filed a lawsuit against Google over a YouTube scam involving Bitcoin. And Magavec has all the details from the live news desk. And... Yeah, it all sounds like a who's who's of Bay Area tech companies, but the scam used his name and likeness, as well as that of other celebrities, to try to get viewers to send cryptocurrency in a big Bitcoin scam event, basically. And this lawsuit is alleging that the tech companies involved, Google and YouTube, did nothing to stop it. Scam event promising to give viewers back double what they sent in cryptocurrency, but when the viewers transferred that cryptocurrency, nothing was returned. Wozniak filed this suit with 17 other alleged victims saying that YouTube and Google repeatedly ignored requests to take down videos associated with this scam, which persisted for months. This is a crime that we reported dozens or hundreds of times to YouTube in words, but no human. You can't reach a human. It's one of the big problems with today's modern tech industry. So they're so big, they don't have to listen. Attorneys in this case uh, comparing the event of the recent Twitter Bitcoin scam, you may remember, that targeted 130 high-profile accounts, including Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and former U.S. President Barack Obama. They say that while Twitter was quick to shut down the Bitcoin scam in a day, YouTube allowed it to go on for several months. Now, a YouTube spokesperson sent out a statement saying, in part, we take abuse of our platform seriously and take action quickly when we detect violations of our policies, such as scams or or impersonations. Now, as far as what our plaintiffs are looking for in this suit, they want the scam to stop. They want YouTube to issue them an apology. And now they want Congress to look into this, basically making tech companies more responsible for the harm that is caused by scams that are developed on their platforms. Back to you, Michelle and Len.